It's all part of the adult mix on WDAS FM. One of the great songs that just made WDAS what it is. Marvin and Tammy and your precious love. I'm Patty Jackson along with Andre the Giant, Mimi Brown. Finding out about the news of butter passing this morning, and 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 I got to tell you, this is we're we're all still dealing with this and still dealing with the news and 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 grappling with it and wrestling with it and just so very hard. But uh, it's at this time that we come together as a family. We come together family we're certainly in shock and that's the first thing that happens is pure shock and numbness that comes over you and he it hasn't even really completely sunk in for me and um as i think of butter i knew i look at him as being the fabric of not only wdas but the fabric of the city of philadelphia because what he was and is to the city of philadelphia is a milestone he's like the art museum he's just like the uh, franklin institute he is an institution within himself. The um, the one, all the songs that we're listening to as we go to, to an old school song is a song that he listened to first that um, that he allowed us to play. And um, there was a time when when he had to pick all the records through his ear. So Butter was a creative individual. He may not have been able to play all the instruments, but his instrument was the ability he to hear, hear it. To hear a hit a mile away. Love Don't Love Nobody by the Spinners. Mm -hmm. He changed that single because the single was originally something else. And he told him, oh, no, that's that's not going to be the single. He said, but don't wait because I can't play that one. And Love Don't Love Nobody got to be the single. So he's the one who made a lot of changes because of his ear. Not only that, Butter was a big guy. But Butter was a teddy bear. He was. (laughs) And he was just as soft and cuddly as a teddy bear. He has trained all of us. He has taken you, Patty, as his daughter. Now, I know how it is that you must be feeling because Butter was Big Papa to me, too. I loved him with every part of me. And um, and Butter would never tell me nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? Butter never lied to me. You know, he always told me straight up, this is how it is. This is the way it's going to be. This is the way it's not going to be. And he'd give it to you straight and he'd give it to you the hip from the hip. And either you could like it or you could not like it, but he would come to you straight. He would. And, and, and that's one thing, you know, um, I can't even, I, it hasn't even sunk into me. So I guess that's why I'm talking the way that I'm talking. Because because in my mind, he's still here. He hasn't, he hasn't left. He has been, you know, the, from the beginning of my career through um, a, a time, a period when I was no longer here and, and it was butter that, that brought me back. And I was in Arizona. Yeah. And we had talked about that for a couple of years prior to me even coming back. But he did. He wanted you back here. He wanted me he back. Did. And um, and it was one of the greatest things I think that he could have done. Praise God. To because butter. he did. Because he did. He, he loved you, Mimi. He did. And I, I remember when he was like, we, we, we need her back here. We, we need to bring her back. And it was such a great day when you returned. You know what? And he's like you, Patty. He wasn't afraid to say, I love you. Yeah. yeah, you know, I always on the phone, always when I see him, I love you, Butter. I love you, Mimi. And I remember him grasping my hand just, you know, a month ago and telling me, I love you. And looked into yeah. my eyes. And I told him, I said, I love you. No matter what goes on in life, I love you. I love you. He is the I'm- fabric of my being. Andre, um, working with him for like so many years, he's had a succession of DJs. Well, what would you say, like for the past 12 years, you've been like by his side uh, Sunday nights? Like 12 or 15, okay. so I, I, okay. lost, I lost count. Um, but just working with him, spending more time with him, us being together than us being with our families, um, just bringing music to our listeners all over. Uh, I'm really, really just devastated. Um, I, I'm lost for words. It hurts. I, I just talked to him. I was just with him. And my prayers goes out to his family because he did love his family. He did. That, that's that, all he talked That's about. the one thing he talked about. He 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 loved family. I mean, we, we are all like, like, like workaholics here and we're always doing it. It's always DAS. But he always taught us how to remember how important 
your family is and how yeah. your family means everything and what you have in your life and how you can't let that connection go. His yeah. family celebrations were so much fun. Yeah, you yeah. know, Christian's wedding <laughs> th- th- this past fall when we all yeah. sat around that dessert table and over ate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just sitting around. Oh, that's a just, cook of family, just, too. Yes, you know, <laughs> just having fun and just remembering those memories. But that is the one thing that stands out for me, for Butter, how he felt about his family. It's it's just the it's remembering the memories of butter is 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 just so amazing. Just the, it's just amazing to come to work in radio, and you're working with the boss. So the mistakes you couldn't make no mistakes. Yeah, you either had to get it right or get it right. So one one of the things that he did teach me in radio is how to treat others with respect. Yes. Um, he loved music. He loved. People. He loved being around people. Even when he was sick, even during his sickness, he still wanted to be around people. So I, I know that Butter is always going to be in my heart. Always. Because um, he's a part of me. And like I said, I'm sorry. I'm just lost for words. But I know what he meant to this station. That He loved this station. He, he loved DAS. He loved the listeners so much. You guys just don't know how much he really, really loved you all. Because he wanted to get out of the bed and come to work last Sunday, if you believe it or not. He really wanted to be there. But, but Butter's going to be missed all over this country, all over the world, because people listen all over. And and they definitely love what he did for Philadelphia and all, all the communities, Patty. I know he loved all of us here, and he often said it. Um, But tomorrow isn't promising to none of us. I love all you guys. So just keep in mind that no matter if you're mad at somebody, get over it. Just get over it and keep the love and joy in your heart. But I love you, Cynthia, Tamboro family. I love you guys. Thank you, Dre. We're going to remember Butter the best way we know how. And it's with song. Remembering Butterball this afternoon with the music that he made famous. Mimi is joining me, our former colleague, Jerry Wells. Jerry, are you there? I'm here, Patty. How Good. are you? Good. As I learn how to work the equipment, I'm doing stuff I never did. Go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> We're remembering Butterball. Jerry, you were our morning man here at WDAS for many, many years. What was it like for you when you first met him? Well, I first met him actually when I was in high school. Uh, Butterball came along with the WDAS jocks when they used to play basketball against the faculty of different schools. And as a member of the high school uh, newspaper, I had an opportunity to meet them and interview him very briefly. But uh, I remember being so impressed because I was such a gigantic fan myself. And, you know, to meet Butter along with Bishop and all the rest of them. But Butter was the one that was acting as spokesperson, so I spent some time, you know, interacting with him, and that was really around the time when I decided it was my dream to get into the radio business. So uh, he was very encouraging, you know, when we talked, and, you know, as you know, as he was, he was just a people person, so it was just so wonderful. And I got, later on, when I got the chance to come to the station and meet him, and he welcomed me, he remembered me from those days. And he always was just like a mentor and a father figure to all of us, as you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I would also like to express my condolences to his family, to his wife, Cynthia, and his many, you know, relatives and friends and co-workers, but also to the city of Philadelphia, because the whole city has lost a part of it, you know, in in the passing of Butterball. He was a part of so many people's lives growing up. Uh, It's just hard to imagine Philadelphia without him, and he will certainly be missed. Uh, He was truly a friend, a mentor, a teacher, uh, aside from being a co-worker. Um, We just had that family kind of feeling at WDAS, you know, back in those days and coming along when I started there in the 70s and all along. It was just a, a different kind of experience from just a workplace, Patty, as you know very well. Uh, Butterball made it more than that. He was just, uh, you know, that kind of person. And there's no replacement for somebody like that. His his heart, his mind, his soul was truly in radio. But at the same time, we related not just as coworkers, but as friends and as family. And so I'll, I'll always miss that. And uh, 
It was a person that one of those people that that you know comes into your life and you never you never forget them. You miss them. I loved him. He was just a special person to me, and uh, you know it's just something that you, it's hard to express how you really feel about it. But um, I will definitely definitely miss Butterball. He's made a mark that will never be erased in Philadelphia. Jerry, thank you so much. I love you. You too, Patty. Thank you so much. Please stay on the line. Don't hang up. Mm-hmm. We're going to take care of some business, take a quick break. Doug Henderson is coming up on the other side uh, as we remember Butter, who passed away today at the age of 70. Hey, this is Patty Jackson. Classic Jackson 5, I want you back. I'll never forget those stories that Butter told about him meeting the Jackson 5 for like the very first time. Because I was like, what was it like meeting meeting Michael Jackson? And they were at his home. Louise Williams brought him by. Really, really incredible. We're remembering Butter today. He passed away at the age of 70. Tony Brown is joining us on the phone. I hope I'm doing this right, Tony. Yes, I'm, I'm here, Patty. Yes. Um, just sad news, as you know, Tony is our host of The Quiet Storm, but hearing the news about Butter passing today, share us your thoughts of, of, of when you first met Butter and what he meant to you. Oh, my goodness. When I when I first met Butter, it was unbelievable. It was an unbelievable experience for me because he was already a legend in radio. I mean, and this was must have been 1972 or somewhere around in there. No, it was earlier than that. It was earlier than that. It was probably 70 or, or 69 when I first met Butter uh, at a party at uh, some establishment downtown. And uh, everybody from the media was there. And I was there because I was on WRTI. And uh, and that was when I first met him. I was just in awe of meeting him. And, 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 and the rest of the people that were on the air at WDAS, because so so famous back then, WDAS was a big station and that was am okay and uh when i when i first met butter it was a wonderful thing i mean he was a real nice guy to everybody he always was that way you know and uh later when i came to work for him i i worked with him and we sat in the office for hours in the daytime and picked music we said listen to records this is when we played records we Listen to records all day long, and then I went on the air at night. So my whole day was at WDAS back in the day, and most of the time was with Butter. We went to places to eat. He went to some great restaurants, of course, and and uh, we we just I just have so many fond memories of of him, and all of that stuff is just running through my head right now, and I can't really isolate on one particular thing at this moment, Patty, because. Uh, just hearing the news is, is kind of devastating. Yeah. I, you know, you kind of expect him to live forever, even though he was sick, even though of what he was going through. You didn't expect him to be gone. You know? And no, you didn't. You really did. Well, Tony, I thank you for taking time. I know that you'll be on uh, at 7. Yes. And I will see you then. Okay. Because we're going to be remembering Butter all day today. Yes, we will. Um, such a wonderful man, but thank you for taking time out. I know it, 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 it's difficult. It's very difficult for me on this end because yes. a part of me just wants to just just go somewhere and just and just cry. I understand that. But I know that I can't because we want to be able to bring you the memories of just a wonderful man. And he was such a part of Philadelphia. Yes, he was. You think of growing up and you think of the music that you would hear. And Butter was the one who who introduced us to it. You know, and made us fall in love, and, and and the dances, and the songs, and the artists, the music industry. So many artists owe their careers to Butter because he was the one who heard the hit and played the songs way before anybody else. Absolutely, absolutely. And he had such a love of family. I think the one thing, because he taught me so much, the one thing that he taught me was the love of family and how much he loved his family. Wow. And our prayers are right now with Cynthia. And Zachary, and to Christian, and Nicole, and Michelle, and yes. and they loved their dad. They yes, loved their did. dad, and he loved he loved his family, his kids. Sure he did. loved his family. Yes, Tony, thank you so much for taking time. You're welcome. Patty. We are remembering Butter through song. It's a classic from the Spinners. D I S F M.